I think everyone knows that us Canadians overpay for internet, but I have found a way to hack the system and I'm going to share it with you in today's episode of ATM All Things Money. What's up guys, I'm Nicole Victoria at No Budget Babe, your host of ATM All Things Money. Today I'm going to teach you how to negotiate your internet bill and put hundreds of dollars back in your pocket without changing your lifestyle. Let's go! Okay, so one of my favorite ways to save money is through negotiation. I actually negotiate my bills, like my car insurance, my phone bill, my internet, all of that fun stuff twice a year so that I can make sure that I am receiving the maximum savings bonuses and benefits. When I cut my cable bill a few years ago, we increased our internet speed and the amount of internet that we paid for so that we were able to stream Netflix and do everything online without that lagging interruption. And as you guys know, when you do a negotiation, you need to make sure that you're coming to the table with as much information as possible. So a couple years ago when I went to negotiate my internet, I was like, well, if we're paying on a per speed and per usage basis, I wanna understand how much I'm actually using and what speed I'm actually getting. Yeah, you can actually check the speed of internet that you're getting. Head over to Google and look it up. We're gonna need this information for your negotiation. So anywho, we looked into the speed and I looked at what I was paying for and I noticed a huge discrepancy. And if you do too, you can do one of two things. The first way would be to do a straight negotiation with your service provider. And the second way would be to just downgrade your service for what you're actually paying for, which can sometimes be like $100 a month less. But I told you guys I was gonna teach you how to negotiate your internet bill today, so let's get into the scripts. First, you're gonna wanna do this over the phone. The employees in the store don't normally have the capacity to be able to negotiate directly with you. They likely don't have the ability to offer any deals, sales, or promotions. So we are going to call up our internet service provider and we are going to ask to speak to retentions. Don't even bother with the person who first picks up the phone either. Now, when you speak to retentions, you are going to have done your homework ahead of time and know what other providers are offering for the same or similar service. You're also going to have your information about the speed of internet that you're paying for versus the speed of internet that you're actually receiving. Here's what you can say once you get transferred to retentions. Good morning, I've been tracking the internet speed that I've been receiving versus the internet speed that I'm paying for and I'm noticing some discrepancies. Within my research, I actually found that XYZ company is offering the same service with higher internet speeds for a lower price. If we aren't able to, and this is where you ask for what you want, increase my internet speed and decrease the amount of money that I'm paying commensurate to what I've been receiving, P.S. This would also be the time to ask for a credit for all of the overages that you've been paying for but haven't been receiving. Then I'll likely have to cancel my service and take my business somewhere else. How can you help me today? Asking them how they can help you puts the ball back in their court. Now their first offer is probably not going to be their best offer because retentions personnel have been trained in objection handling. So if you don't come in with a reason for why you're negotiating, they're going to attempt to retain you without actually offering you anything. If they've come down in price a little bit, but it's not really beating the other offer, you can say something like, I appreciate your offer, but this isn't actually any better than XYZ company. Are you able to beat their price? Remember, be friendly, be direct, and ask for exactly what you want. And remember that no just means we haven't found the parameters to come to a yes yet. Something I feel is helpful to say in those kind of situations where you might be getting to a standstill is, what can we do to get you to a yes today? Well, that's it for another episode of ATM All Things Money. I'm Nicole Victoria. Catch me here next time on Narcity.